Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get a shit ton of survivor slash legend XP in Dying Light. So this involves a few different things. The main one is the stuffed turtle farm location which we're doing right now. The second is the item duplication glitch which we're going to be doing after we get done here. And uh, the final thing is the nightmare mode. XP boost for turning in these Shit, the disaster relief broke crates. Down. So we need to go to Stuff Turtle first, which you can basically fast travel to by selecting the quest, then exiting out of the game and coming back in. And you'll be ported to the supermarket. And you pick up three of these disaster relief uh, thingamajiggers. That's basically all you need to do here. You don't need to run it any more than once because we're going to be doing the item duplication glitch. If you don't want to use the item duplication glitch, which you can use if you're on computer, uh, and up to like just now, I'm recording this in 2000 and, uh, in 2020, in July. So the item du the item duplication glitch is still alive and well. So once we get the three disaster relief crates, we're going to be going to the safe zone, which is right up here. We're the nearest safe zone. It doesn't really matter which one you go to. Ouchies. Didn't mean to do that. And I totally forget how to get in here. But we'll probably get in from this. Nope. Because I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> now, I'm gonna make another video of how to do this item duplication glitch because it is a little bit tricky. So, what you need to do is first open your player stash and take the disaster relief crates you got and put them into the player stash. Now, what you need to do is you need an item with a high stack count that is on the main screen of your inventory. No scrolling. You can't scroll down for it. It has to be on the main screen right here. So, as you can see, I have 147 DIY grenades. Now, what I want to do is leave my mouse over where I know that item is. And then I'll hit escape on the menu like that. And when I leave my mouse exactly positioned here, and when I bring back open my player stash, I'm going to left and right click my mouse at the same time. And if I do it right, it's going to bring up another, it's going, I'll show you the screen it'll bring up when I do it right. Did it wrong that time. Did it right that time. See how it brings up the DIY grenade right in the middle of my screen? And I'm still able to move around the, the item cursor as you can see here. I go into my stash and select three disaster relief on-site packages. And then we're going to select all. We're going to hit C. Bam. And now we're going to scroll down in our inventory. 147 disaster relief. As you can see, it gave us, it gave us the same quantity of the grenades that we had. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one of these back to the storage. And then we're going to rinse and repeat with the same thing. So, messed up, messed up, messed up again. There we go. And now, see, boom. Now let's see if it worked. Scroll down. Yippers worked again. Oopsies, forgot to put one in the stash. One in the stash. Forgot to mouse over the DIY grenades. Mouse over them. Exit out. A little too slow. There we go. Nope. It was. I already did it after the uh, menu opened. There we go. And I, I was I was able to tell that I clicked it too late because I wasn't able to still move the cursor around on the screen like that. So we're going to duplicate that one more time and then let's see how many we have. So now we have like quite a few. So let's do this one more time with uh, this item. Nope. 
Oops. <laughs> I actually did it right that time, but I hit escape too uh too late. Where uh I hit escape as if I failed. Hold on. There we go. I kept messing up my timing because I was trying to do it fast. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have plenty of disaster relief packages. Now, what we're going to do is make sure auto saves. Quit out. Now, we're going to get the bonus XP from it being on nightmare mode and the bonus XP for it being at night. So, we're going to go to play, go to the campaign, and then hit F on this menu. Switch it to nightmare. Yes. And then fire that shit up. Oops, it put me at the stuffed turtle. And I think it's still the middle of the night. Six, okay, it's in the morning. Let's see, uh, the closest, we'll go back to this one. Now we're fast traveling back to the old slums because we need, uh, We need to get to a quartermaster, and that's this is the fastest one or the closest one. It's easier to travel traverse the old slums than it is the uh, other place. And really fast, we're going to check to see if it's still in nightmare difficulty. Indeed, it is. I can tell because my health doesn't heal me instantly; it's healing me only over time. And also, the uh, you can check too because the menu doesn't pause the game anymore. So that's where we're going. And then we're going to this rest until night. Because on Nightmare we get not only 10 times the amount of uh, legacy experience, but when it's at night we get 20 times the amount of legacy experience. So we go to the Quartermaster, and then we're going to deliver the drop and turn everything in. Oh, it doesn't even tell me how much XP I got. Holy shit balls! Well, as you can see, I only had uh, two legend level, and you could see that at the start of the video, and now I'm at 55, <laughs> which I wasn't even expecting it to give me that much, but there you go. There it is. That's the easiest way to level up your legend levels in Dying Light. As you can see, that is, uh, I just completely cheesed 50 levels, and that's all there is to it. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully uh, made the game more enjoyable for y'all, and I'll catch you around the next video.